All right, what's up guys? Now we are uh, ready to go. We're hooking the line. We just did a little transport of the guys up to the site, just up on the back side of the mountain there. The bags are ready. The hook is getting hooked. Um, it's beautiful. Uh, wind seems to be uh, pretty acceptable, around 15 knots. Doing the checks on the emergency release on the line now. So this should be uh, super nice. Alright, we are ready to go. 15 meter long line, 50 feet. Let's do these lifts. First bag is hooked, got the signal to lift. And up we go. There's a little road, making sure that's clear. I already know there are no power lines other than the one that we are working on, which doesn't currently have any wires. So the terrain is clear. We've got the guys in sight. Let's see uh, which ones it is. Da antar jeg det er han som står litt nede i der da. Skal du ta han da? Nei, glem det. Jeg har funnet han som er interessert i det. Ok. Ok. Let's see if we can deliver this to him on a super nice way. He's got it. And uh, let's see, it's on the ground, it's not sliding, there's the signal. Perfect. That's round one. Let's go for round two. Da blir neste en stolpe, eller? Nei, det blir flyget av sekkene først. Så blir det neste opp om der da. Ja, riktig. Gotta adjust for all the roads. When you do the sling work, uh, you don't fly over the roads or the people or anything like that. So you gotta fly around um, to adjust for that. Let's do sling number two. Looking out the side, so I'm flying kind of out of trim for the delivery. Hook is hooked, there's the signal. Lifting up. And it's off the ground. other guy. I believe that it's that guy on the peak there. Yep, it is.
There's quite a bit of elevation change here on this uh, little peak that he's on. So uh, making uh, height adjustment is a little bit different. Uh, it's hard to estimate. Like I think I was a little low on this one. That's the signal right there. I'm going to do my fly out a little differently. There was too many, too much things on the left side of the road there. So I'm going to adopt for that uh, and accept more of a tailwind uh, takeoff component. Just going to have to live with that. The alternative would be to fly over all the people and the road and uh, things like that. And that's not really an option, so it's just the life of it, I guess. Alright, so that was five bags. Six. We uh, did the last two together. Now time for the first pull. These poles are going to be put on the ground and docked. Uh, uh, bardooned, wired, I'm not exactly sure what the correct term is. That's when I put it on the ground and the guys pull out some um, strings, ropes, and then they attach that in a uh, approximate 120 degree apart pattern um, and hold the pole upright. So poles off the ground, these are super light. This thing's 250 kilos. So there's hardly any weight. Um, the challenge in this is to keep the uh, the pole upright when they are doing the uh, strings. That's super, super duper hard. And uh, kind of the best way that I fi found and also in the procedure is to just accept that, uh, leave it a little off center and just let the guys do their job because if you're gonna be notorious about keeping it 100% upright you have to be a flying god of some sort I don't know um, so that's that let's see here if we can't deliver it to them just super nice and perfect okay, so they got the pole we have it on the mark it's on the ground, and so now, when the pole is so light so, as this one is, keep an, an exact load. Uh, <laughs> it's, how do I put this? It's very hard. And also, because it's so light, the RPM of the helicopter keeps going up and down. Um, because it's registering load, and it's not registering it, and then that, that uh, just keep adjusting the RPM up and down. Let's see here, I'm gonna try and pull with these guys. So th they got it hooked pretty good. But it's off center. I'm struggling to hold the exact uh, weight of it. See here, they're giving a little signal to go to the side, but I'll try. But that's very, very hard. That looks about right. Okay, now it looks very, very good, and I'm not holding any load. I'm just kind of securing the pole. Um, should it fall, then I will catch it. Okay, there's the signal. Go ahead and release, and now make sure that the sling is off. That goes for every load, of course, but it's very important on these things because if it weren't to fall, the green sling, and it'd be still attached to the helicopter, and you pull away, that would make for a very, very nasty situation. So you have to be cautious of that. Okay, so that was pole number six. We're doing it in reverse order. It's time for number five. 
looking in the mirror. second location now similar place as the last one power line goes uh, up there hard to see uh, five poles docking in the same procedure as the other place when you're wearing these bubbly clothes and uh, obscures a tiny bit of the view down makes it a tiny bit harder at least not that much But when everything matters, it matters. Okay, loads off the ground. I have a power line crossing in front of me. Gotta try not to uh, hit that one. And the sun comes right into my face. Alright, the guys are waiting there. The wind is the same. It's a beautiful lifting wind giving that nice flow of air lifting me up, which is nice. Let's see, there's a bunch of trees. I have my light grip on the cyclic. I got the grip on the chair with my collective hand. We just cleared a tree. <laughs> That's nice. Okay, the guys have the pole, a little bit low. And put it down into the rebars, yep, there we go. Nope, we didn't go. There it is, alright. There's contact. You can actually feel a slight thud in the helicopter when the pole hits the ground. So long as you're very, very careful. Gives you a little bit of an indication. Okay, let's pull it over somewhat. It's so hard to see when you're gonna pull it over. Yeah. Sometimes the guys on the ground, they pull it too much into one direction, like now, and it gets off center due to that. So the guy on our right side now, he has to tension up quite a bit, but he's struggling to do that because the guys on the left side of the helicopter is tensioning too much and there they released and the pole went up straight okay. so that's nice now I'm just kind of securing the pole should it fall for some reason just as a backup, I don't have any load on the line right now just enjoying the sun in my face Waiting for the signal. Yep, there's the signal. And the hook is free. Perfect. Okay, let's do a lap. We have wind. So I did a crosswind takeoff now. Now more or less downwind. 
I have the power line which passes underneath me now and I'm gonna lose my altitude now keeping in mind my descent rate and the air speeds keeping that alive I have my operating site over there and I'm losing the altitude now but not so much as I don't clear the trees here <coughs> got the helicopter out of trim checking in the mirror to see if the line is centered or not which it is and kind of switching over to the side the hook comes into view and then just continuing down I have trees behind me but the line is much longer than the tree length okay so focus a lot on uh, giving the lift up, getting it nice, not kind of rushing anything, having patience. In that way, in that sense, it's much more likely that you don't screw up the fact that something is attached still and that you're accidentally still tethered to the ground, which would end up uh, in a like a pretty bad jolt in the helicopter that's happened before and if you don't think about it it'll happen again and I didn't mean that it's happened to me though so I'm just trying to give in a little few tips here okay next site amongst the trees the tail rotor will be high above the trees and I'm pointing it towards lower terrain like this would be more icky if the terrain was different and um, like like say for example you had rising terrain behind you then you might have to compensate for that with a longer long line or something uh, to make sure that the helicopter has a clearance to obstacles at all times Okay, so he has it, I think he is uh, pulling it down, I'm going to try and pull it over to the side now, okay, so he's got to go over, the tensioning part is really on the guys on the ground. You can stabilize and do things like that. You can support with the final uprighting of the pole itself that falls to the guys on the ground. You're aiding them as best as you can. But that's really it. Like now, the guy that's on the quartering left behind us. Yeah, okay, they're, they're, just, they're accepting it. It was too tight, and so the pole is probably 5-10 degrees out of vertical now for them to adjust that afterwards is not a problem as I have understood from them okay airspeed's alive coming downwind now in a 50 knot tailwind keeping the airspeed alive as I go through the corner and setting up for a final approach into the operating site down here and I'm quite a bit of left pedal in, flying out of trim, looking out the window. Straight up. Alright guys, we've done this uh, how many times now? I'm going to call it for that. Um, just trying to share some tips and tricks. Uh, what I am thinking about and when I am thinking about it. Uh, 
some of you have contacted me to say that yeah we like more perspective on that I want to share it my company applauds it and so anything I can do to help out is um, is my privilege so I'm gonna call it now